actually for me, um, one of the guiding principles that comes to my mind is compassion. And first is compassion for ourselves. Um, because I know that it's, it's a very hard time for all of us. It's not because of the pandemic, it's also because of the internal judgment that we keep having ourselves. Because we, by looking at other people being so active, pro, uh, like productive and happy on social media, but then we feel that we are like a, an odd one out. We're not. It's so hard for us sometimes to get out of the bed. It's so hard for us to concentrate on our work and think about the future. But then we have kind of like, doubt and judgment for having those thoughts. And because I've been teaching for four years and also I've been practicing mindfulness meditation for four years as well. And I realized that in order to kind of like get rid of those judgments, the first thing we have to do is to, um, to accept it. We have to accept that sometimes like we have those judgment for ourselves. We have to accept our emotion, our vulnerability. And I believe that like by showing some a little bit more of patience to ourselves somehow things will get better so that is the first one and the second one is again about compassion but it's compassion for others uh by like by joining or even creating different communities in in where you are living right now and i get that idea especially after i joined the ncw and the young leader access program and being there and seeing like 50 other youths from 35 countries around the world gathering together in the US, sharing the same problems and being so active, being so creative in making little progress every day in their life to, to strive for what they want to change in the community. And by seeing that, I feel so motivated and so inspired to keep up with what I'm doing right now and to stand up and do similar thing like them. So after I go back to Vietnam, because I, I've been working abroad, and so after I go back to Vietnam, and especially during the time of pandemic, I decided to create something similar. Like I created a project with a theme of self-awareness and professional development for university students. So technically I just like demonstrate exactly what I just said, like I create a community for them to share the emotions, to share their vulnerability and just like to share who they are. And um, during that time, it's also a safe place for them to support each other and to learn like certain practical skills uh, for professional development uh, so that they can be a little bit more confident to step out after the pandemic to, um, to, to find work. Because I know that it's going to be super competitive for them later on after the pandemic to find a job for them. So yeah, so I think that it's, yeah, it's, it's all about compassion, compassion for yourselves and compassion for others.